Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am a day earlier than I thought I'd be. I actually got quite a few packages today that I wasn't expecting until tomorrow. So, this is going to be a Smell Good Shop, or That Smell Good Shop haul. Um, I have never ordered from her before, and I also did um, my first custom order with her ever. I just did three different scents. Um, so I'll get to those in a minute. It, my um, package did not come with an invoice, so I will not have some of the scent notes for a couple of these, but most of them actually have the scent notes on the label. So that's really awesome, and I do not have a business card either, else I would have put it over here for you guys. So the first ones that I got are going to be little um, shot cups. I'm not really sure what she calls them. Um, this first one here is going to be in cactus and sea salt. And I got a couple of these because my boyfriend really doesn't like the bakery scents. So I try to um, get a couple that he might like. This one's really good. It smells very green, very fresh. That one's really nice. I also got Stress Soother, which is Lavender, Eucalyptus, and Spearmint. I'm not sure why my, um, it's not focusing, but it might be because I have so much stuff going on back here. Sorry, guys. This one smells like you just walked in to get a massage. Like, identical to getting a massage. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are getting one. Um, I know it's been really stressful out there for you guys lately. This next one is in Strawberry Bliss, which is strawberry and cotton candy. And this one, it does smell good. Um, this strawberry reminds me of what some of the scented stuffed animals I used to have as a kid. When we used to go to Reno and me and my brother would go play in the arcade, we would win stuffed animals and sometimes they would be scented. I know, so bizarre. I haven't seen that anywhere else. <laughs> um, but this strawberry reminds me of what one of my stuffed animals kind of smell like. It's like a very powdery, fake strawberry kind of scent. It smells good because it's nostalgic to me, but I don't think I would pick up um, a large amount. Maybe I'd get another scent another scent cup um, but we'll see how it performs first oh I forgot she did give me a sample which is hobgoblin in iced lemon and vanilla cookie and on the back it says it'll be available during her restock on October 22nd mmm it's a definitely a bakery lemon like a lemon sugar cookie Oh, that's exactly what it says it should probably be. <laughs> so that one's really good. Thank you for the sample if you're watching. Um, I got um, quite a few six packs and then I got a few of her 12 packs. So the six packs first, I got drunken, sorry, drunken pear, fried pear cake, and caramel cupcakes. And it's really cute because she does the different colors, green and yellow. I thought that was a super cute touch, and I love these bags because they're like the exact size that they need to be, so the wax doesn't move around a whole lot. This one's so good. I really do like pear. This is like a juicy pear, kind of similar to like the jelly bean um, juicy pear, and it does have that bakery background. I think I'm min mainly smelling the fried pear cake. That is so good. I'm not sure if the drunken pear is supposed to be boozy or not. I don't necessarily detect that, but we'll definitely see on warm. This one's gonna be really good. Next is Hagrid's Hut Cider and Leaves. Um, so Hagrid's Hut, I'm not sure what that is composed of, um, and I don't have the scent notes in front of me, so I'm sorry about that. This one definitely right off the bat is leaves. That smells really good. I don't really detect any cider or maybe what Hagrid's Hut is. If It, it does have a slight sweet note to it, so maybe that's what's in Hagrid's Hut, um, but I'll let you guys know and I'll update you when I actually melt it. Next up is Down Home Muffins. This is Buttery Sweet Cornbread Muffins. And you guys, I'm a cornbread connoisseur. I don't know. I love cornbread. All sorts of cornbread. And this is so, so good. I don't know. No, the pour dates are not on here. But it does smell quite strong. 
That one's really delicious. It smells like a hot cornbread muffin coming out of the oven, slathered in hot dripping butter. <laughs> so good um you definitely could mix this with something but this is really good on its own um i love um eating my cornbread muffins with cinnamon sugar butter so maybe adding something like that to it would also smell good this is this is a home run next up is demons and darlings which is caramel apple cupcake and mallow whip and this one's pink and blue super cute Right off the bat, I get caramel apple. Definitely like a fluffiness to it and a hint of bakery. The caramel apple is not like super strong in your face. Um, it definitely smells like a green caramel apple to my nose. Um, that one's really yummy. I do like apple. Um, I don't tend to pick up a ton of apple scents, but I think I did get a couple in here. This next one is called the Shattered Pumpkin, which is sweet pumpkin puree and spiced vanilla. Guys, this is so flippin' good. There is, I do not have anything else that smells like this. Which is funny because you think, oh, like a spiced pumpkin scent. Yeah, there's like a million of those. This is different. That pumpkin puree is so freaking fantastic um, if you haven't picked this up and you still can get it because it's different the spice vanilla is like all on its own um, and just helps add some depth to that pumpkin puree so good 10 out of 10 I cannot wait to warm this one next up is zucchini brickle which is butter brickle and zucchini bread has a slight cinnamony bread note and I do detect a little bit of butter that one's nice it's it's not super pow in your face um, very good um, I would definitely probably get a big pack of this one because I would never get tired of the scent probably and you could definitely mix it with lots of different things Okay, next is Scrum Diddly Umptious, which is candy sweets, bubblegum, and mint. Mm. What am I getting? I guess that bubblegum, almost like a fruity bubblegum. I'm not really detecting any of the mint at this moment, um, but it is sweet. It's not just bubblegum on its own. It definitely has something else to it. Um, hard to kind of detect maybe what that extra bit is, but I think that'll be good. All right, two more six packs. Um, the first one is in Blue Ribbon Cookies, which is award-winning baked vanilla cookies. I'm going to pull one out. This is what they look like by themselves. I am getting that vanilla. It's not super strong. It smells yummy. Um, is it the best sugar cookie scent I've ever had? Not sure. <laughs> I'll definitely update you guys on this one. I think it'll be good to mix with other things too. But I love vanilla. I am vanilla any day, every day. That's fine by me. Okay, the last six pack is going to be All Hallows Eve Caramel Apple and Pumpkin Caramel Latte. Um, All Hallows Eve, I don't know what that is. Sorry, guys. Um, let's take a sniff. Definitely getting a caramel apple scent right off the bat. Maybe like the slightest background of a latte. But really, if you don't enjoy coffee, I think that you'd be fine because it's almost undetectable, at least on cold. It's really nice. All Hallows Eve, I don't know what that is, and I'm not smelling it for whatever it is. Okay, next I got 12 packs. I got two of her own scents and then three that I made myself. So we'll do hers first. I got Pumpkin Crunch, which is Sweetly Spiced Pumpkin and Vanilla Crunch.
This one smells different than the other pureed pumpkin. It's spicier. Definitely has um, like a ribbon of vanilla. Maybe like a vanilla buttercream kind of. That one's really good. Next up is apple butter caramel, which is crisp apples, caramel, and melted butter. Yes, I do go back and forth saying caramel and caramel. I don't know why, I just do. You definitely get the crisp apple, but it's separate from the caramel. It's not like a caramel covered apple. It's really good. The melted butter, not exactly smelling. It kind of is similar though to, was it this one? It smells similar to one of the other ones that I um, picked up. Okay, next up is my three custom um, orders. Um, I think I did a good job. <laughs> we'll see. Um, they're not super complex. I was going to do some like crazy ones, but I just decided that I would try these ones first. And like I said, super cute how she did the multicolors, especially on like my, my own custom order. That's really cool. This one I named Rosebuds and Cream, which is Rose, Creme de la Creme, and Pink Sugar. Right off the bat, you get that really fresh rose scent, almost like you're out in the garden. With like a creamy, milky background. And I detect a little bit of that pink sugar, but I didn't put much in it. I think I put 15% um, pink sugar in it, 25% um, creme de la creme, and then the 60% rose. So I love rose scents. Um, they remind me of my grandmother. She had like a huge rose garden, um, which she still does. My grandpa... Um, still lives there so this one definitely I mean so so nostalgic <laughs> so nostalgic going over to her house um, when I was a kid so this one smells really good I'd like to see what it is on warm um, I might add one of those vanilla butter um, or those blue ribbon cookies sorry um, to this if it's not um, enough cream that would probably be really good Next one is also after my grandmother. It's called Bandos Lane, and this is toasted malo zucchini, creamy pumpkin, and sugar milk. And my grandmother made the best zucchini bread I have ever had. So good. She was always baking in the kitchen. <sighs> this smells like her kitchen in the best way possible. I definitely do the, get that hint of pumpkin. Um, I'm getting a lot of the um, zucchini with a little hint of um, uh, malo cream. I'm not sure if it smells toasty. And that sugar milk definitely helps round it out. So good. Such a good bakery scent. I'm really happy that I made that one. And the last one I got is Gold Country Cafe. Um, I live in Gold Country, um, California, <laughs> so I thought it'd be a really cute name. This one is Coffee, Ice Cream, Lavender, Vanilla, and Malo Puffs. Um, I definitely, well, let's just see what it smells like first. <laughs> right off the bat, I get like a marshmallow vanilla, I mean, <laughs> marshmallow lavender. It is more like an herbaceous lavender. And I'm getting a hint of coffee in the background. I was a little bit worried that the coffee would get lost because I did coffee ice cream, but she only allows you to do three um, scents and I wanted coffee and ice cream. So luckily she did have this combination. So um, I can't remember the percentages that I did. It might have been 50, 25, 25. I'd have to go back and look, but next time I might do just coffee and see how that turns out. But that one smells really good. I don't know. I was just having some 
weird enlightened moment that lavender and coffee and ice cream would be super delicious. Um, so that one is pretty good, so I can't wait to warm that and see what it's actually like. Um, I wish that it was already Sunday so I could add new stuff to my melting basket, but... Alright guys, thank you so much for watching again. I have two more hauls coming up, so please subscribe and come back to my channel and say hello. Alright, thanks. Bye.